Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. We are very red today, aren't we? Look at it, the lights, the shirt, it can only mean one thing. Today we're going to be doing pack four of the Agora Models release, a build, the LaFerrari. So I thought I'd lay out everything we've done in the first three packs, and there's absolutely tons there. And today, aside from a window, which we're going to be putting into the back of the interior cabin there, we are going to be working on the engine. So this is going to be a fun build today. If you want to get this for yourself, just head over to the Agora Models website. I'll put a link down here. There's also a QR code on the screen, which you can scan with your phone. It'll take you straight to that website. You can get this all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Okay, it all starts with stage 25 here, which I'm going to open. And as you can see, we do have this window, which we're going to be putting into the interior uh, cockpit area of the car. But you'll also notice we do have the alternator parts here, which we're going to put together. Looks like we've got a little bit of the engine block as well. And I'm going to just keep these three items safe to one side. So we don't actually need them at the moment. What I am going to do is take out this glass. And that's looking just like this. Try not to get fingerprints on it. It has got two tabs on either side. Bring over the interior here. And this is just going to go into this area just here. So make sure you turn it the right way around. So it's this way around. It's going in. And I'll just push this into place here like that. Now, even though I push that in, it's going to not hold very well. So if you are tempted to put some glue in here, you really don't want to be using super glue. Because what will happen is it will stick absolutely perfect, but then it's going to start creeping out a white frost which is coming over here. Instead, what you want to do is use a bit of micro crystal clear just on those lugs at the back. That micro crystal clear is in my Amazon store. And as you can see there, look, I've put two white dots in there. Just the glue, not enough to uh, smother it. And I'm just pushing that into place. And now that's going to hold no problems at all. And the good thing is that's going to dry absolutely clear. Now, go through all your stuff and you want to find a bag which has got this little badge in just like that. That's going to go just onto this section here into the internal cockpit. Now, it has got adhesive on the back, which hopefully my close-up camera is going to show you <laughs> that I'm taking it off with some tweezers. I don't know if you can see this, it actually says limited edition on it. It's just going to go into here. Let me put this on. That's on nice and square and it should look just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 26, we've got the starter motor in here. Now I'm wondering, are we actually going to be working on the starter motor? <laughs> and the answer to that is kind of. In this bag here, which is all protected, we've got the start of the engine. And one side of the cylinder head looking just like that. This is really heavy. This is all metal. Now we had the alternator come in the last pack, so I'm going to need that now. And it's going to attach to this side of that cylinder block onto this hole here. So it's going to go on kind of like there is a locating lug in there so I'm just gonna put that locating lug in the hole behind it it's gonna go on kind of like that there it's held in with a type B screw now remember all the screws in this do come in their own bags we've already got all the screws in this and we are going into metal so I have put this in some oil let's get this lined up and I'll screw this screw in just here We've got the front of the alternator here. Let's get that out. And because we've got pins in this already, this is just going to be pinned into place on the lugs on this side. So it's only going to be able to fit on one way. So these two line up when we put it in and then just push that together like that. Look at that. That's brilliant. That's into place and it's also hiding the screw which attached that to that. I like that. I'm going to put that to one side because believe it or not, bringing over the interior again I didn't realize we actually haven't uh, mounted these chairs into place we've only just put them in so what I need to do is get a type B screw again the one we just used and from the underside 
secure this into place. Now, at the moment, it only wants me to do the driver's side. So, uh, got a screw here, and I'm going to put that into this side here. And that's going to screw that into place. Let's use my bigger screwdriver. So the driver seat's in. Now, the instructions haven't asked me to do this, but because I had a screw out, I'm just going to do the same with the passenger seat as well. I can always take it out again if this is wrong, but they don't ask me to do this at this time. But you know what I'm like. So, with the seats in, and what we've just added on the alternator there, that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 27, we've got the other side of the engine, but we obviously had the starter motor in the last pack. So I'm a bit confused about what parts are actually working on in this stage. Let me just show you what this side of the engine is looking like. Again, it's all metal, looking like that. So to start with, we're going to be using the cylinder block from this stage, and I've also got the uh, recovery pump here. I'm going to be putting this into place just on this section here. Now we have got two holes, which are going to align with these two lugs. So again, this is just a push in, and it pushes in like that. All of this is metal, just so you know. Then we're going to be taking the starter motor, which we had in the last stage, and that's going to go into this hole we got here. It is semicircular, looking like that, so it can only go in one way. It should be able to fit in there quite tight, but I'm finding it's a little bit too tight, so I am just going to put a little bit of oil just in the inside here. And that should help get this into place. Give it a wiggle. There you go, it's in like that. And then we've got an oil filter cap here, which is just going on the underside of this. So just line this up and push that into place there. I'm just gonna see how that fits. That's a nice clip. No glue needed. This is uh, never coming out again, to be honest with you. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 28, the uh, stage is called the potentiometers. And we've got another piece of the engine here, which is looking just like this. This looks like what the manifolds are gonna attach to. I could be wrong. I could put that to one side though, because we're gonna be piecing together what we created here in the last stage and here in the stage before. These are just gonna be pieced together just like this to make one engine. It's going to be held in just on the top side here with two G screws. These are silver screws here. And I am going to use my bigger screwdriver for this. So let's get these lined up and screw these in. Oil will help you to make sure these are tightly in place. So that's one. And this one's two. That's all in one place. We could put this to one side. And if I open this up, we've got a cylinder block. Now this, compared to everything else, is actually plastic, as you can see there. And we've got these two potentiometers here, which I'm just going to open up. And these are going to go on either end of this cylinder block. So they line up with this section here going inside the engine. And we've got three pins to put this into place. So it is just a, a clip in. So I'm just going to line the pins up and push this into place. Again, I'm not using any glue for this. But it should look like that. Do the same on the other side. And when they're both in, one should look like that. One should look like that. And we're then going to add this to this metal section that we got here, which had all those manifolds on. So, as you can see, this is where these are coming out from. This can only go in one way. It's going to go in this way here. And it's going to slide into these two parts just like that. So you can see that they're coming out in the middle there. Now this is only in here temporarily at the moment. We're not actually gluing these, attaching these or anything at the moment, but that's how that's gonna look. And with both of those in place, that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 29, they're calling this stage the generator pulley. So let's get this out. Again, we've got another part of the engine because this is metal, very heavy looking like this. And you probably guessed where this is going to go. If we've got this on one side, which we did at the end of the last stage, then this one is going to go on the other side just here like that. So it's looking like that from this side. Turn it around, that from that side. 
And you're gonna love this now. If we look at this side here, we're actually gonna be putting this on top of the main engine that we've been creating. So these sides here are gonna face these two lugs here. So when I put this in, line everything up, it's gonna go in just like that. That's gonna be held in with type G screws. Again, these are those silver screws. This time we need four of these to get all of these parts together. Again, oil, definitely your friend here. Now they do sort of go down at a little bit of an angle, as you can see here. These are hard work. So what you should want to do, make, as I said, make sure you've got oil. And when it starts to bite and resist, just take the screw back out again and then drive it in again. You'll find this time you'll get it a little bit further. And just keep doing that until the whole thing is in. So you don't want any wobble in that. That should be in nice and tight, just like that there. Engines come along big time. So first thing we've got to put in is the alternator pulley. This looks like this. It has got a forked clip in here. So when we push it in, it's a one way thing this is. <laughs> so it's gonna be quite a hard push in, but once it's in, it's not coming out as you can see there. And then I've got another pulley here. This is the return pulley. And this is just going into this point right next to the pulley we just put in. Again, it's a push in, so it goes in like that. And that is the end of that stage. In stage 30, we've got the racing gearbox and clutch. Two big parts here. And the first thing we want is the clutch, which is in this bag here. This is going to be going over the top this way round, so it fits over the lugs just there like that. It should fit flush around the engine there. This is held in uh, once again with G screws. I have recently uh, magnetized my screwdrivers so they're picking up everything at the moment. So I'll just get one gently in there for a second. I won't make that too tight until I've got the other one in. And again I have put these in some oil and I get these nice and tight. So again, should be no wobble in there. That's that in. And then we're gonna be putting the gearbox on top of this. And quite simply, it's gonna go in this way here, just over the top of what we connected there. And this time this is held in with eye screws. Eye screws are silver, but these are going into plastic. So uh, they have got a different thread on them. So I'll get one in there. And again, make sure it's tight, but in plastic, not too tight, just tight enough to keep that in place and do the same on the other side. And that's in nice and tight, looking like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. The penultimate stage in this pack is this one. This is stage 31, the engine support arms. Quite a few little details in this. And the first thing I wanna do is get out these support arms. They look like this. These are plastic and they are shaped differently. This has got a square peg at the end. And that's just gonna go into the square peg on this side here. So just push that in. So it's in like that there. Turn it round and I've got another support arm to put in. This time it's a round peg. So it's going into this one here, like that. And then I've got this protection panel. Look at this, we've got a clear section here with the border around it. This has got two tabs here, which is going into the two holes that you can see here. And there's one here, just under that support. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna take that support out, put this in first. I think that'll be the best way. There we go. That's the protection in. Now I can put that support back in place here. Excellent. Now, this in the bag is the timing cover. Let's get that one out. You know, I don't normally like having parts where we just push them together, but this is working perfectly. So we're just gonna be pushing this onto the end here. So lining up again, the lugs on this, they go together really tight. And there you go, that's the timing cover in place. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Which means the last stage that we've got here, stage 32, we've got some parts of the transmission here. We do still have quite a few details here, which we had left over from the last stage. I'm just gonna show you those. The belt, we've got a, a 
little connector there. We're going to be putting first the transmission onto the gearbox housing. It's going to go on this way and it's just going to follow the shape this way around of the gearbox there. Once again, it's held in with type I screws. We got one there and one just above it. Get this nice and tight. We then got the second part of the transmission looking like this. Again, this is gonna go over the top here like that. Once again, type I screws and just get these into place here. Growing, isn't it? <laughs> Look at that. And the last piece I've got here is the differential cover. As you can see, this has got lugs just on this side. This is just going to go over this side here. So just line it up, push this into place. And when that's in, it should look just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. It is amazing how much you can actually do in one pack. And as you can see, we've got all of this in place here. We've even worked on some of the interior with the uh, window and putting the driver's seat down. I did say we have got some pulleys and stuff and some belts left over. Obviously going to be doing them in stage five, but uh, it's very heavy and that's just the engine. If you like what you see, you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. And I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, Take care.